Uh, so I'm very new to venture capital. And you know, one question I get a lot of times is like, like how did you end up in venture capital? So I had spent uh, certainly more of my career as an entrepreneur more than anything else in over three different companies raised uh, north of $100 million, and I got to see firsthand how it was either helpful or not helpful to have an investor who could empathize with what I was going through as an entrepreneur. And uh, sparing you the details of that, a couple people who I think really were influential for me to think through at some point someday to actually go play the role I'm playing today. And uh, when after I started, I, I kind of thought through what you know, what are the ways that we as venture capitalists can give unfair advantages to our companies? And I think one of the ways that we can do that is the kind of access to, to key people or mentors. And um, again, kind of reflecting on what I was just telling Eves, uh, you know, building a, a, these councils is, is just a group of people. But it's a group of people who've, I think, built great things, either at companies or, or products, and built groups both on the design side, there's a number of folks here who participate that, as well as on the technical side. So you made tech council, then you made design yep. council. The tech council is really easy for me. <laughs> the <laughs> design council took some work. Um, and it wasn't that I, I didn't know some designers because I uh, had recruited some folks, but I wasn't sure. So I, I kind of approach a lot of these things, uh, much like many of you do as entrepreneurs, like, hey, this is an interesting, interesting experiment. We'll see. It might totally fail. But I figure the worst case scenario would be, I'd buy, buy people dinner and some drinks, and uh, we just wouldn't do it again. Uh, but it turned out, you know, it, it was interesting, because like on the tech side, especially in this valley, there's, there's a lot of these groups that, that convene, you know, two dozen people, and so for better or worse, there's a lot of that cohort that like kind of know each other. But on the design side, it was incredibly exciting for me because it, it, was, it quite evidently kind of filled a void here. And uh, it grew very quickly, I think the first Thing we did, we had about 12 folks, and we had Johnny Ive you know, had dinner, and grew to 20. And but, but the most amazing thing is when we do these events, like the attendance is like 98%. I mean, this is what I started to do actually. In in you know, in all honesty, is that we scheduled around when John was in town, and uh, then over time, uh, well, last fall when he gave me kind of a crack that I'm like, hey, I might be able to recruit him. Uh, then I absolutely was like, hey, I want someone who actually knows what he's doing. <laughs> To, to go lead this group. So uh, that, that was kind of the impetus behind that.